Hello, this is Niall Standish calling. I'm going to be a shopping center Santa Claus. And I need some alterations on a suit. Would that be something you could handle? Uh, should be, yeah. Now, I've just moved into town. I've left all my old Santa gear behind. It was burned in an incinerator. I want a fresh start. The clean Santa suit. No stains or evidence whatsoever. I'd like the belly to be completely exposed, more like a bare midriff. I... Wouldn't you want to see jolly old St. Nick's tummy really shake when he giggles? Well, I, you know, it depends on who you are. Mm, yes, I'm the Duke of Yankerville. Now, listen, my suit will need a long front zipper just in case a brawl breaks out. I don't like to bloody up the suit. I'd rather fisticuffs in the raw anyway. Hmm. What would be the thinnest fabric that you could make the suit out of? You'd need at least something the weight of a knit. I want something as thin as a spray tan. I don't think that really exists in terms of fabric. There's visual effects that are as thin as a spray tan. You know the legend of Santa's surprise pocket? I don't. It's a Dutch tradition where the children would reach into Santa's pocket and pull out a surprise. I want the slit, but no pocket. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I love Christmas, but each Christmas morn, I like to throw open my window and yell to the small children downstairs to fetch me the turkey down the street, and I'll give them half a crown. Oh, I just had a client come in. I gotta hold on. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him for a moment. Uh, this is... I'm a potential customer. How do you feel they did with your order? Uh, they did really well. Now, has been all over me since I called. Oh, yeah? Now, this is between us. This is between us. She's insatiable, and I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, describe her for me, if you would. No, I'm going to pass. I got some no, other no, stuff no, to no, do, no, but no, I no. I will do it in code. No, no, no. We'll do it in code. We'll do it in code. Listen, would you like to be an elf and come down my chimney? Idiot. <laughs> How may I help you? Hey, I wanted to know if I could book a party. Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, it's gonna be like 14 kids. Okay. Two weeks from two weeks from now, and then eight of the kids have measles. So eight of the kids are like they're sick, or no, they're not sick. They're just contagious. And then two are vegan. So I just want to make sure there's vegan options at the snack bar. Um. There are, I believe, um, did you say they were contagious? Uh, well, I mean, measles is contagious, but we're just kind of, they're riding it out. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. And the measles, it's just like natural measles. I, I know there's two different kinds. My mother's actually a doctor, and you said that, and I just wanted to make sure they weren't actually like, um, like highly contagious where I'd have to be. Did you say you're a doctor? No, no, no. My mother, my mother is. Oh, okay. So I was just wanting to make sure it wasn't going to be putting other customers or other children that are here kind of at risk. It will a bit, but that's just part of measles. But it's like the cute disease where they have the little, you know, the little red spots on their face. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, and maybe can your mother be there? Because it always helps to have a doctor in the house. Actually, probably not because she has her own job. No, I hear you. And we don't need the doctor for the measles. It's just for the one kid who has leprosy. Will you actually give me one second? I'm going to check something real quick. I think we're just going to come come there now because... Uh, Tonight? Yeah. Yeah. So I have a kid that actually just got seriously hurt, and I need to go ahead and, like, call. Guys, no, get it's... in the van. Okay, I'll see you then. Take care of that little kid. All right. Love you. Bye.